All right, so here's a more challenging example. We've got a lot of factorials in there. Ratio test is the right tool for the job when you see factorials. Frequently is, at least. Um, but, I mean, n factorial, you know, we've got the square of n factorial on the top. Uh, on the bottom, now be careful, that's not just twice n factorial, right? If, if it was just two times n factorial, we'd cancel, we'd simplify piece of cake. No, this means we, we double n and then we take the factorial, right? Um, so 2n factorial is, is way, way, way bigger than n factorial, right? Is it bigger than n factorial squared? Um, yeah, of course, because here you multiply by the first n integers, and then you multiply by the first n integers again. Down here, you multiply by the first n integers, and then you multiply by the next n integers. It's a lot bigger. Okay? So the denominator is definitely larger than the numerator. Seems like maybe it's going to work out for us. But let's, let's apply the ratio test and be sure. Okay, so let's see. A n, in this case, is n factorial, n factorial, 2 n factorial. And so let's look. What do we get when we do a n plus 1 over a n? So we have n plus 1 factorial n plus 1 factorial over 2, so do it this way, 2 times n plus 1 factorial. That's going to be 2n plus 2 factorial on the bottom, right? Okay, multiply by 1 over a n, so we flip this thing over, 2n factorial, n factorial, n factorial. Okay, so... Remember now that n plus 1 factorial we can write as n plus 1 times n factorial. We do that twice, so n plus 1 squared, n factorial squared. On the bottom, this is 2n plus 2, so it's 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1 times 2n factorial. Okay? Then we have 2n factorial n factorial squared, if we want to write it like that. And now we look for cancellations, and there are a lot of them. Those cancel, that cancels, okay? And we're just left with n plus 1 squared over 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1. Um, you can probably see how that's going to go, but maybe just to make things crystal clear, let's multiply these things out. Okay, 4n squared plus 2n plus 4n, 6n plus 2. Okay, so what's the limit? The limit as n goes to infinity of a n plus 1 over a n, well, it's 1 over 4. All right, it's a rational function. Top degree is n squared, top and bottom. And 1 over 4 is less than 1, and that means that the series converges by the ratio test. There we go.